Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boo Boy Kettles, and I'm um, just going to have a, uh, hopefully, a pretty quick video here. Um, right now, I'm doing this uh, lens in uh, manual mode as far as focus. So, hopefully, I'm in focus because it's kind of hard to stand in the same spot. You can go back and check, see whether or not the uh, the lens itself is is, is focused. Um, I will say one thing about this lens that I'm using I don't like as far as in uh, auto mode for the autofocus. It's, it's it's a bit loud. I don't think it should be loud, but it's a bit loud because even the mic that I'm using picks it up. But anyways, um, what I want to talk about real quick is as far as my current uh, lighting condition the way it is, I only have you know, my overhead lights like three bulbs. And then of course, you know, some light coming from the living room, or I mean, from the dining room. But with the lens that I was currently using, well, one of one of my kit lenses, which is uh, oh, as far as the camera itself, if you're wondering, it's a Canon T5i. But the 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 lens itself is the EFS 18. 55 millimeter uh, Canon lens, so just the uh, kit lens, and this is what I was you know, using. I was using this and another lens that I had bought, which was a, a bigger lens. But what I find is when uh, making the videos, or you know, more videos and actually photo work as well. As far as doing with this lens. I mean, if I was to do it with this lighting condition, I literally have to like crank up my ISO. Uh, I think the lowest f-stop that I can go to on this is a uh, f4, I believe. I think that's what it was, f4. But you know, like I said, I have to either crank the ISO up way high, you know, get the shutter speed as low as I can go. But then if I'm doing video. And I'm recording at 1080p. You know, it should be set at 60, but I can go down to 30. As you know, as far as the uh, shutter speed is concerned. But even with an f-stop at four, I still got to use a really high ISO. So that doesn't work out too well. So what I did to remedy that situation, and hopefully this, you know, comes out well. I'm not sure if it will or not, but. Hopefully it does. Well, I have picked up a uh, lens, and this is the uh, Sigma 50 millimeter f 1.4 EXDG HSM. Long name, I know. But I picked this up, you know, because the f-stop is 1.4, which is, I believe, what I got it set to right now, 1.4. Uh, shutter speed is 60, and uh, my ISO is set to 400. So it should be lit up pretty good in here. Pretty good. Well, as far as the way it looks on the lens, even though the lighting in here is pretty boo-boo. But that's the reason for getting this particular lens was so that, you know, I can shoot in what would be considered low light conditions as far as, you know, inside a house and stuff like that. Uh, another thing I picked up, and I only did one monitor so far. I still gotta get around to doing my other ones. Was the uh, Spider was Spider Five Elite, and it's actually did you know did a really really good job of calibrating my uh, the Samsung monitor that I'm usually on, you know, for like my Mac Mini. So I did a real good job. So I you know. This I really like. Maybe the price, you know, uh, a little on the expensive side. I mean, there are cheaper versions, but I just wanted the best one they made. So, as far as you know, this particular model, which is why I went with the Spider Five Elite, just to uh, to do that. Uh, the other thing is, as we all know, onboard mics for you know your cameras are pretty much boo boo. So. 
I know Rode had recently came out with a new version of their mic, which is um, the Video Mic Pro. I think they call it Video Mic Pro R. Is how you would look it up. So this one comes with the uh, Ryko. Ryko. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, shock mount. So it's you know, a really good mount for the, the Rode microphone. Which is what I'm recording the, this video on right now is with this mic. And of course, like I said, with the lens, it is the, uh, you know, the Sigma lens. So, you know, that's what I'm testing this out with. See how it all comes out. Hopefully the quality is good. And as well, maybe, you know, I got my focus as far as the distance figured out. But, you know, it's kind of hard to do that when you have to come back to where you're at. Or, you know, kind of put something in right here, which is what I need to be doing to get it focused, you know, better that way. So I have to keep on back and forth, back and forth, trying to get it figured out, you know, where that focus point should really be in manual mode. But yeah, let's go ahead and, um, you know, see how the video came out and see if this is a, a well worth investment or a fucking waste of money, but we'll see. Anyways. If you like the video, you know, make sure to thumb it up or thumb it down, whichever one you think it deserves. Share it with your mama, your cousin, your auntie, your grandmama, and your whole family, you know. Other than that, shit, bring your boy boo boy candles and as always, keep them scratching. Peace. I'm up out of here. Till the next video.